according to scriptures the key to successful relationships is really not love and I know that we've been taught that if you love someone then it'll work but I think our experiences have proven that wrong I don't think anyone in this room who have been through a divorce will tell you that when they first got married they hated the person they wouldn't tell you that they had planned on a divorce it was part of the planning people don't do that and furthermore to say that many of them who have been through difficult relationships would tell you that there was a lot of love in that relationship at first at least what they understood to be love and so if love was supposed to guarantee successful relationships then you should have had a successful one but we need to understand that love does not guarantee success in a relationship now we're gonna look at the culture of the kingdom of God and look at how diametrically opposed our culture is to that in the book of Proverbs chapter 24 is a interesting statement made by Solomon regarding relationships he says by wisdom a house is built and through understanding it is established and through knowledge its rooms are filled with rare and beautiful treasure it's kind of a little idiom here he's using in the Hebrew uh, the word house here is referring to of course a marriage the word established means that it it is set and it is founded grounded in the house and then the words rooms is referring to atmosphere it's a pleasant place to be it's like walking into a place filled with beautiful diamonds I think most of us who have been through a difficult home life would say that life was very going home sometimes we didn't want to go home and then when you were home you stayed in separate rooms and then sometimes if you stayed in the same room you slept back to back and sometimes the house is the most difficult place to be it's not a place with rare and beautiful jewels it's almost like it's icicles and according to Solomon to build a strong home to establish a strong relationship to build a good marriage and a good family you don't really need love first you do need love but it's not first on this list he said the first thing you need is what wisdom wisdom is applied knowledge then you need what understanding understanding is comprehending information and then he says you need what knowledge knowledge is information that you can use for functioning so he said three things you need to build a strong family a strong home and a strong marriage he said you must have first of all wisdom understanding and knowledge I think you need to turn them right side up to get the right meaning because knowledge is first information so he said the secret to a good relationship is not love and affection and you know holding hands and going on dates and having you know coffee together or something no he said a good relationship begins first of all with information you've got to get information then the second point he emphasizes is you must have understanding now understanding is the capacity to understand or to comprehend the information Now why is wisdom the last one because wisdom is application you cannot apply what you don't know and you cannot know what you don't understand and so you've got to have information first then make sure you understand the information and then you can apply it according to Solomon information must be 
the foundation and let me just caution you that information here must be truth it must be truth you can have information that's not true and there's a lot of information out there in our culture that is very very dangerous and most of us go into our relationships with information that is not truth and so we're not just talking about getting information the secret to success in anything is applied truth those of you who are scientists or scientific in, in your orientation would know that uh, when you talk about science in the lab they call about they, they, they talk about theory and then they talk about applied science the difference between the two is one of them is kind of what you just study the other one is what you actually experience well wisdom is applied information so you could say that wisdom is applied science of truth and according to the kingdom of God you begin building relationships on the concept of information understanding and wisdom this is going to be a very very helpful series as we study the culture of the kingdom some of you are going to sit here day in and day out and wonder why you didn't get this information 20 years ago 30 years ago uh, success is not a mystery success can be predicted so can failure and you can actually predict people's failure it's not difficult to do I do it often I don't tell them but I try to warn them but you can tell a person you know it's not a prophecy but what you're doing will lead to this and what you don't know will lead to that and so failure is predictable so I want you to, to remember as we go through this that we're going to be seeking truth we're going after what? truth what is truth? what is truth? write that down please truth is original information that's truth what is truth? truth is original information if you want to know the truth about something you have to go backward not forward you got to get back to the original information on the product you know it's amazing no matter how long you had a product when something goes wrong with it you go and try to find the manual now that manual might be old you know but <laughs> you still got to go back and find what the original information was about the product and this is why truth is so critical so anything that you want to know the truth about in life you've got to go back and find out who has the original information 